solve the positive integers a, b, and c such that a, b plus b, c is equal to 65. a, c plus b, c is 17. Now, what should we do? Now, have a look at these equations. The first equation, a, b plus b, c is equal to 65. The left hand side, we can take out at b. That is b times bracket a plus c. In the second equation, we can do the same thing to the left hand side. We can take out and c. That is c times bracket a plus b. So actually, the left hand side have the same forms. And what about the right hand side? 65 and 17, which is lucky. Of course, 17. Why? Maybe you're going to say because it is smaller than 65. It's not the main reason. The main reason is 17 is a prime number, but 65 not. In the first step, the form of the left side of this equation should be changed. A C should be taken out. And in the bracket, it is a plus b, 17 on the right hand side. So since 17 is a prime number, and a, b, and c are all positive integers. So 17 can be only factorized into 1 times 17 because it's a prime number. Of course, the order of 17 and 1 can also be changed. Then 17, then 17 and times 1 is also okay. So from here, there are two cases. The first case, when c is equal to 17, and a plus b is 1. Since a and b are both positive integers, so a should be greater than or equal to 1, and b as well. So a plus b should be greater than or equal to 2. But 1 is smaller than 2, so in this case, we should desert. The first case has been deserted, and the second case. Of course, it is much more complicated than the first case. Let's have a look what we have. C is 1, A plus B is 17. I'm sure that there are solutions. And how should we solve them? Now, we shall use the first equation. a b then plus b c is equal to 65. And what should we do? We should take out a b. b times a plus c is 65. Then 65 is not so lucky as 17. Here is b, here is a, here is c. And we know the value of c is just 1. How should we deal with this a? Of course, a plus b is equal to 17. So a is 17, then minus b. So now, b times a is 17 and minus b, and c is 1. So this equation is just a quadratic equation about t. Now we should simplify this term in the bracket. b then times 18 minus b is equal to 65. And then 18b then minus b squared is 65. And we can simplify it, of course. 
then 18 being the minus b squared minus 65 is equal to 0. And we can multiply by minus 1 on the both sides. And b squared minus 18b plus 65 will be 0. Now, how to solve this equation? Very easy. By factorizing. Negative 18b, it can be separated into minus 13b, then minus 5b. Then b squared minus 13b, we can take out and b. b times b minus 13. Minus 5b then plus 65. If we take out a minus 1, then what's in the bracket? It is minus 5b plus should be changed into minus. It's this. And since 5 is a common factor of 5b and 65, so it's just 5 times b minus 13. Because 5 then times 13 is 65. b minus 5 then times b minus 13 is 0. So b1 is 5, b2 is 13. And then a1 is 12, a2 is 4. a, b, c is a1 is 12, b1 is 5, c1 is, huh? C can only be 1, right? And a2 is 4, b2 is 13, c is just 1. Do you get them? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.